What's up, motherfuckers? Welcome to the Billy Bullshit Podcast. We got the real Mike B, a drunk midget, and a farmer with dreadlocks. Let's go! Welcome to the Hicker Billy Bullshit, Billy Bob Bullshit Podcast. Y'all know what it is. Let's get turned. How do you guys remember that name? Every because time. we just make it up as we go. What the fuck do yeah. you mean? We it's just a start new name every time. words. Yeah. I was just it. asking. Go, ch- it's a I'm so, sorry. <laughs> I just ate some really good Mexican food in Wisconsin, and it was nice. And it was really nice. Out that. Nice. In Wisconsin. Where in Wisconsin? Mexican. We're in Monroe tonight. We got a nice free oh, show. Yeah. If you're in the Wisconsin area, come on down to Monroe. You're going to catch me, Big Buck Beasy, Parker Boy and Jay Baby, Naughty Northern, JB Real. Ty Retro. That's a lineup. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got that's line a good, and it's free. It's completely up. free. You know, the crazy you, know part? you know the real crazy part is this airs tomorrow, so the show will be over. Oh, well, fuck. You <laughs> right. Well, then, too late, motherfuckers. Too late. But, oh, let's do yeah. live at the same anyway, time. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Mike B? How what's you doing, up, man? What's up, y'all? How is everybody? Mike How is everybody? Mike B in the house. Mike right, B where? in the house. Sound. That guy's an asshole. I heard him. I heard about him. Mike B. I heard yeah. some song about him, yeah. Yeah, anyway, he's got a song Mike called B. Asshole. Mike hey, B, hey, Steph, you want to just start out spinning in that? Is that your intro no. song? We'll just fucking No, I want you right to start that. with his story about the crash. Start, start well, with not. The, hel- the helicopter. Or not. Hey, you want to start with the song, man? <laughs> What's up, Frank? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> this is right, what are we supposed to be doing here? Taking over the world. What? Really? Yes. When the bass is tapping, things can happen. Surely this will get them clapping. Beg me for an answer back. Decided just to let them have it. Hit me with a titty slapper. Bitty slow and trap a yapping. I don't think you understand. I'm not these average cats just rapping. Dude, you're fat and soft like satin. I ain't on that time you haven't. I'll turn into Kool Aid Man and come and reeking fucking habit. You want it, man? You can't grab it. Never known to be a savage. The only thing you popping fresh is biscuits in the oven. Matthew. Asshole. What? I'm a motherfucking asshole. H S S H O L E. I'm that whole fucking thing. Yeah, I smell like weed. Give us a fuck what you think. Nope. No matter the rush in my mind, I'm constantly just dipping in and out of consciousness. Is constantly these fucking meds should give me balance of mouths. We'll see. You think I'm loco? I just took me the time to make a box of your mind to hold my lime in the soak up. And you don't like me, and it's perfectly fine. Just make sure when you are crying that you ain't making up lies. Keep moving. You get the message? Am I getting through to you? You think the shit that you say gon' weigh as much as that you do? <laughs> I'm not a bully. I'm simply a poet, and I am not a gangster. What you push me, you'll know it So I don't get all the hubbub Or why they say it's dumb luck If I was anything but great Y'all wouldn't give me one fuck So skip all the small talk Who sucks, who's best If you think I'm losing sleep You haven't fucking woken up yet Asshole What? I'm a motherfucking asshole A-S-S-H-O-L-E I'm that whole fucking thing Yeah, I smell like weed Gives a fuck what you think Nope I fuck with that song, heavy bro. I love Dude, that song. Dude, that's Absolutely a twisted true. fingers so holding fucking, bangers type of song. That's a twisted I'm fingers sure, holding bangers I'm type sure shit. All y'all saw fucking. Uh, I made a post about making like a playlist to play on a job site all day because I got this Bluetooth. Uh, I shared and it fucking, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Fucking. That was the first Mike B song I put on there, bro. Yo, Mike B. Mike Mike fire. B. That's that's low key a fucking joint dog that's some twisted fingers that's holding banger. fucking bangers type shit I like that's that. a low-key joint i like it that's a joint that's you gotta watch joint. the music video bro it's pretty funny it oh, is. Yeah. the video is pretty funny that's a whole yo joint. Well, hold, a on, whole hold on hold on this too. guy this guy up here in the right 
yo, I know you. Odd job. Yo, yo, look. Yo, you're on my shirt. Yo, hey, whoa. What, what? It's like a, it's, it's a, there's no such thing as coincidence. Yeah, bro. That's, yo, that guy's famous, dude. That's the most famous little person in the world. That's, That's the I biggest like little guy in the world, bro. It's awesome. I'd like to say Wee Man's more famous. Can I say that Wee Man is what? more famous by a little that's guy? Only, look, look that, that's only because Odd Job hasn't kicked himself in the head you yet. Country. Yeah. Where country go? Gang, gang. <laughs> you got rid of him. He's talking shit about you, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. No, he actually Don't hopped off. I was playing. That's fucked up. I just took him off the screen for a second and he hopped off. Bring him back. So what's up, guys? It's nice to be here. Damn. Yeah, we chilling. Hell yeah. I'm fucked up. Yeah, definitely. I've watched the show and I was like, cool. Shit, man. That's a cool show. Fucking. Oh, I'm over here breaking up weed. Shit, man. It's a fucking. Tell us, tell us about you, man. Like, how'd you get your start in music? How'd you get your name? Tell us about the R I O Y C. What's that stand for? Uh, well, R I O Y C stands for uh, rub it on your chest. Yeah. Sorry about which, that. Someone knocked on yeah. the fucking fucking door, and we had to go see who it was. We okay? It was just to fix it, man. We good? I had to grab the grab the blicky right quick. Sorry about that. Uh, Sorry about that. Yeah. Someone okay. knocked on the door. So rub it on your chest. Is that that's like one of your more famous songs then, or? I well, see well, that. rub it on your chest. Is... I've heard yeah, that. So, I see that rub, a lot. Is what I'm saying. What rub it on your chest means is like when life or anybody and it gives you shit. Rub that shit on your chest and keep, keep going, man. Like you know, like life is tough. You know, get a helmet. It uh. Could you tell us that you've been through it? Because you were telling us backstage that you've really been through some rough, rough, rough shit. Like, tell us about the time you were helicoptered out. That shit's nuts. All right. Let me uh, let me start off by saying, first off, my my life is no harder than anybody else's. Okay, I went through what I went through, and I go through what I go through on a daily basis. But I would never trade shoes with anybody else. You feel me? And I would never offer my shoes to anybody else, you know, like, hey, go ahead, walk. No, it's cool. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, uh, I'm good in my, my shoes, bro. Like, I survived what I've been through. I don't know if I'd survive what you guys have been through. I don't know. Give I me a second. My kids are coming Everybody's got their own path. Amen. We all have our own path. Exactly. Amen. That's actually one of the the uh, foundations of uh, being Buddh Buddhist is understanding in Buddhism. Buddhist that Buddhism. That he said Buddhism, in Buddhism. Buddhism. That's, that's what, what it's up, called. Guys? Buddhism. But it's Buddhism. yeah, exactly. Following your own it's path. Not Buddhism. Oh, okay. He said Buddhism. <laughs> that sounds like a club uh, Buddhism. That's what like Buddhism. Oh yeah. Uh, what up? Booties. All right, sorry, my little man. He was that Nicholas. Like Yo, a... him and I, him and I have a song coming out. Oh yeah. Oh, put him Bye. in the booth, man. He's... Yeah. All right. Um. Hell yeah. So August fourth. Oh, oh right. Mike yep. B. Mike B. I was uh actually I was hyping up some stuff for uh I had some buddies back in the day and then you know karaoke Mike in the living room we had uh what did we have Adobe Audition one point five. He's oh, like, Mike, old, come in and uh, hype oh, this that's up. Old, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a way back. Yeah, it was, it was like, way back with it. Probably like, it was way like back. 05, right? 04, 05, yeah, 05 said, something like that. That's way back with it. That's way back with it. Yeah, you was back in the shit with Shut it. Shut up. Bro. No, stop. Stop. It's not. No, bro. It feels like yesterday, for real. Stop. It was just yesterday. Yeah, I'm not that fucking old. I'm not 30. Yeah. Bro, listen, it, like my head's messed up from the accident. Fake. But anyway, time is fake. I was on there talking. I, I was on there talking shit, and I was just like, some, 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 Mikey B, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yo, would you say? And I was like, and they're like, Mikey B, man, that's your name. I'm like, okay, that is my name. And they're like, no, 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 that, that's your rap name. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, so that's listen, how I'm, it happened. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. for real. Interesting. So, but um, you know, I, it's uh, Mikey B, the real Mike B, 
He's, you know, whatever. So oh, just yeah. don't call me late for dinner, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, oh, God. What got you in, <clears throat> into music? What got you into music, bro? Because obviously my you have a passion a great for co-host. it. I've always liked music. Yeah. Um, I, I, um, a lot of people don't know this. Like, I wasn't actually like born where I reside, where I grew up at. I was born in uh, in Baltimore, Maryland. I was born in St. Agnes Hospital, and we lived in like Woodlawn okay. and Catonsville and Woodlawn okay. and Catonsville. I did <laughs> I did a little bit of third grade in Silver Spring. Uh, but I, you know, this is the first place I went to school. I, we moved up here when I was a baby, and then we were back and forth from here to Maryland until I was like seven, eight. But and that's a you know, so trip, right? that's a long trip. Yeah. That's a long trip. It's like, you know, an hour, an hour or so, depending on where we where we were going. You know, if we were going to Montgomery okay. County, okay. it was it, it was okay. like an hour and a half, two hours, something okay. like that. If we were if we were continue, going out to Catonsville, yeah, perfect. So, so perfect. Continue. <laughs> so uh, he said, "Continue." But, <laughs> yes, yes, Country, it will. will so be. anyway, I will continue, but not because you told me to continue. Right. I will continue Fuck because you, that's man. what I was I continuing. Stopped. To do. I'd have stopped talking. I don't no. want to stare at the camera. No. Like, don't fucking tell me to continue, no. motherfucker. That's a rub it on your that's chest, really man. That's like, wait, did he? No, no, no. We'll just keep no. going. But anyway, <laughs> nah. Oh, nah. But um. So it was always in the car, you know, and it was me and it was me and my sister, Brooke, were born pretty, uh, pretty close together. I, I was uh, almost four. Well, I was four when she was born. And then I was about seven when my baby sister was born. And uh, we were always back and forth. So in the car, mom always had like John <laughs> Mellencamp or some shit on. And, you know, I, I got to learn a whole lot. I got to learn who, like, what the song was and how it went before I knew who sang it, you know? Fucking so. oh, the whole bunch of shit. Uh, Metallica, Garth Brooks, Reba McIntyre, uh, the Dixie Chick, like, um, Randy Jackson. Man, I remember Goodbye uh, Earl. You know, when I was a little kid, I remember the first time I saw the music video for Goodbye Earl on CMT. Bro, we were down in Florida. I remember that. I remember dancing yeah. with my mom in the living room with Shania Twain's going on. Like, dude, dude. I'm like, yeah, bro. Yeah, I was remember, probably but... like five years old, dude. I'm sorry. Hell yeah. Man. That's that I, uh, shit, man. I grew up. You ever see the video? I grew up in a house job? full of women. I have. That shit was lit. Have you ever I seen the Queen of Teen Good remix that Squirrel's Gotta Die? Uh, it's uh-uh. fucking fire, no. too. Hell yeah. <laughs> I grew up in a in a house full of women. My mom, my grandmother, both my sisters. Like my dad died when I was a baby, so I never knew him. My dad's but, a uh, I'd rather him right, die. Listen, <laughs> drugs are bad, bro. Listen, I grew up my whole life without a father because of heroin. So I'm not. You know, it's one thing I check. That's one thing I checked off my bucket list a long time ago. Never. Hell yeah. You know, my kids are gonna know me. Right. So, but yeah, um, I might do a little bump every now and again, but I ain't doing no heroin. <laughs> I haven't even tried no booger sugar, man. Like I'm, uh, I'm they put fentanyl. Hardest thing, I know, hardest you thing know, I've done is some perks, but blood. like you know, they they were prescribed, and then you know they started going a little crazy. So I was like, yeah, no. Nah. You can get a test strip, bud. What? What? No, <laughs> No, I just listen, indulge listen, in a little listen. marijuana today. I don't even drink alcohol anymore. Hell yeah, Dude, that's the way to do it, man. The drug scene is so it. dangerous. Listen, listen. The war on drugs was won by drugs. The war on drugs is over because drugs won that shit. Like, that's yeah. the reality. The war on drugs that's didn't reality. exist. Uh, yes. <laughs> the war on drugs was really Hey, where's, was Bob? No hey, real where's war. Bob? He's got to take a shot. There's no bad guy. Or, uh, fucking chug a beer. Every time Where's we talk Bob? about drugs, Bob, beer chugging Bob, so chugging beer. Send him the link. Get him out drugs here. are bad and clean. Drugs are bad and clean. So, yeah, so you asked me about yeah. the accident, right? All right. Yeah. Life, life wasn't yeah, peachy, yo. Listen, I love yeah, my mom, right? right? Like, drugs lot, the same right. school, kids. I mean, wait. I've been, I've been in and out of juvenile shit. Like, my mom put me in a psych ward when I was four, put me again when I was seven, and then I got locked up again oh, when I was 13. God. 
How is that legal at four years? What the fuck happened? Well, it's very easy. Listen, my listen. Mind, you, mind you, mind you, I told you. Look, look. My mother is no longer with us. She passed away in 2018. I rest her soul. I love my mother. Okay, I'm sorry but to we. Hear that. we I'm sorry for I'm sorry to hear we, that. We, we, we did not get along. You know, I'm still. You know, I still would like to see her. You know, it'd be dope. But you know, we couldn't. We couldn't be in the room for more than five minutes with each other. We really couldn't. So, um, a lot of things. I don't want to get into it too much. I have a biography out there. Um, can read if you want to. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe sometime where we'll at, get into where it. Can, but uh, yeah, where plug can that, find that? Plug it. Plug that really quick. Where? Tell us where it's um, at. Plug it. I'll put it in the comments. Actually, I can't put it in the comments. I can put it in the chat. Do we put take it in the chat? Tell us where it is real quick. Uh, Put it in the chat. Hold on, That's interesting. I'm getting Put it. Put it in the chat. No, here, hey. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Give me a Just second. Just tell us how to find it, and I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Me too. I'll walk. Yeah. Exactly. I, I got, I got so to send it to you. Oh, thank you. So you actually wrote your own book? This is interesting as hell, bro. You're one of it's the not, more interesting motherfuckers. It's not a book. It's just a little biography. I sat down with, uh, um, God, I wish I could remember her name. I have it in the in the file somewhere, but sat down with this uh, interesting with this lady for like three hours and gave her my life story. Wow! All right, okay. the link is right there. Uh, Underground Perfect. Free Press. Shout you. out to them. Yeah, good man, good man. Back to your okay, so I get locked up. Back to when you got yeah. helicoptered. Sorry. All right. Back to the helicopter. Shortly before the helicopter. Shortly before the helicopter. While I went to placement as a teenager. So I go to jail at uh, December 9th, 2001. Because, like, institutions and group homes are jail when you're 13 years old, okay? Um, They're all, yep. I got it. I got out. I got out June 11th, 2003. I turned 15 July, 2003, and I got hit by a car while I was riding my bicycle August 4th, 2003. And I was, uh, I was coming out of an alley on my bicycle and got hit by a Jeep Cherokee. Went up over the hood. My face went through the windshield. It's all like plastic surgery up and shit. Jesus um, Christ, right. Jesus I was, Christ. I was actually, uh, I was pronounced dead at the scene. Um, they Jesus resuscitated me. Christ. They, they flew me. Uh, they flew me to Hershey Medical Center here in Pennsylvania. I flatlined in a helicopter, and Jesus then, Christ, Jesus! I was in a coma for a total of like just under or just over a month. But uh, a week into the coma, they attempted to take me off life support, and I flatlined again. So I was like, Jesus that's Christ. not. And listen, these are all just things that they, you know, they, they told me and my mom had told me. And, you know, you it was, so the, I was cool. That you know? was my question. That was my question. What do you remember and how did you get through it? That was it's my hard next to question. What do you remember? Because I was in a very similar crash where I got helicoptered to fucking Grant. And basically, I remember waking up that that morning and then waking up in the hospital days days later what do you re remember like I i'm curious because we've been through something similar give me your ex Listen, ex experience again this might be for a different time but in a brief like briefly all i could really tell you readers is digest it readers <laughs> digest it all i could really tell you is you know just like just be a good person because you'll be conscious once you leave this vessel. You know what I mean? Love is always going to win at the end, God, no matter what. Sucking their teeth on that one. Yeah, that's right. You have a you Even. have salty motherfucker sucking their teeth on that one. Uh, yes, it, sir. It, it, yes, sir. It's not for it. It's not for that though. Like I like, bro. I don't mean to disrespect nobody, whatnot. You know, Sucking like I can Sucking talk. AT. I can talk shit with the best, like with the best of them. But I'd rather not. You know, these days, I like. I don't. I don't, I don't fucking even really want to waste my breath arguing with people. Like, just chill. Like, I believe what you want to believe. Bro, you know what it. You know what it means to believe in something. It means you don't know it, it to be it fact. Has faith. No. Well, yeah. Well. 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 Faith. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But listen. By definition, it means. That you know it to not be fact. You don't know if it's a fact. 
because if it was a fact, you couldn't believe it. The exactly. grass is green. I can't. I can't believe it's black. I can't believe it's purple. It's fucking green. Where I'm at is who said it was green? Who I said mean, green means believe, what it is? Who decided to call it grass? Purple. Okay, so here's my thing. Farther on that, one thing that's always fucked with me. I saw a theory. How do we know Sorry, that we all that. actually see the same color? We don't and call it blue or green we because don't. what I we see don't. is blue. We don't. What I no. Listen we to me. Don't. Listen to me. Science Hear me out. Said we don't. We don't. All right, motherfucker. Let me talk. What I see is blue. It's the same thing that you think you see is blue. But we're seeing two different things because we both had someone point at the same thing and say, that's blue. You know UCLA Berkeley said that. There was a study done at UCLA Berkeley. You're absolutely right. Correct. This shit's fucking crazy. I'll give you an example. Listen, my great uncle Jimmy, he's awesome. Um, he had a maroon Ford station wagon back in like 93 or whatnot, right? It was maroon. All right. He would call it red. Like, no, bro, this thing was almost purple. Okay. Now, now, or no, maybe, like, maybe, he, like maybe he called it purple. Blindness. Maybe he called it purple because I know maroon is a shade of red, but like, it was either he thought it was purple or he thought it was like a brighter shade of red. And I was like, yeah, no, that's maroon. I thought, I think it was purple. But my mom, they used that's to make fun though. of him. Like, that's oh, like Jimmy. That's a form of color blindness. That's not. I'm talking about, yeah. about something completely different. Oh, no, he is colorblind. Yeah, that's a, what we actually see. We all call, yeah, we call no, this yellow, and you call it yellow, but we're seeing two different colors. But we both had some. That's like that's tomato, yellow. tomato. I, I guess maybe I don't know. Hickerbilly, what you're saying, what what you're saying is that if you and I look at the same flower, we'll see it differently, right? Hey, we'll really? see it differently, but if you say this is a white and yellow flower, we're both going to agree. But we're yeah, both what I'm saying it. is, I, I'm I guess, what I'm saying is, I guess, is like, when, when someone says, do you believe there is a God? Like, I like I can't say yes, can't, because, like, Why not? Fat, like, I don't, hey, listen, something created. So, like, at the very beginning, wh whether there's a universe... I'm not even entirely convinced space is real, okay? So but I'm not getting into you're this. Stuck, you're not stuck getting in into it. Linear time not getting into it. You said at the beginning. Not getting into it. To Don't want to get into that. Time is not linear. Exactly. Time okay. is three-dimensional, and that's where we get confused. Time because is not three-dimensional. <laughs> well, time is, it, time is four-dimensional. Four they say there's more than one heaven. You, are you but aware you of that? you understand... As a human, as a human being, the fourth dimension we can't comprehend. So I say it's three dimensional because we can wrap our head around that. The fourth Bullshit. dimension, the, the human brain can't really comprehend yet. It's Bullshit. it's outside of our awareness. Bullshit. It's Bullshit. outside of outside of the average human's awareness. Once you open your third okay, eye, okay. Yeah, so you know I'll, what I'm saying. I'll give I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll uh, yes, sir. I'll I can give you that. But there are people that are able to tap into it. I just think a lot of people pretend. But there are the few and far between. The, uh, I don't think we understand this earth and this universe at all because we're so science based. We haven't looked into what the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Mongolians, what they used to know. But I mean, believe me, there's who, there's some. You don't think people have looked into it? Me? Because there are ways that you can look yeah. into that shit and study it. You know what I'm saying? So. What I'm saying, who knows what to believe yeah, anymore, bro? Like me. for real, that, I'm you're just, talking like beast. mainstream. You're talking mainstream research that's accepted or whatever. You can no, do your I'm own saying independent research a, and learn about that shit. Species, you know what I'm saying? No, exactly, exactly. But as a species, we've never rep replicated it. If we were studying it cor correctly, we could do it again. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. We can't build this. pyramids. Bro, all they care about is money. How well, about maybe the there issue. was like a whole bunch of information that was like held from us and miscued and put out? You know, I, I don't, I don't the know. Archives. Yeah. Oh, maybe. The Vatican, Vatican archives. archives. Vatican archives. Yeah, I, he knows it's in the Vatican, who knows? and there's also in in uh, Tibet the library, the, the library of Tibet. I'm saying the library right. of Tibet. Would you say, Ajab? I heard Peter is getting a new job working for the Vatican. 
I heard P. Diddy's a fan now <laughs> working to bring down Jay Z. Actually, I I have been told I would believe it. that P. Diddy P. Diddy will face no legal charges. Jay Z will mark my words. I don't want to talk about anything I heard on that subject. I just know that I gave Diddy a bar in this new song I did. I definitely oh, gave Diddy a bar so in this new song. Hey, Mike, he did. You went to a Diddy bar. Bon Jovi his verse like, I don't talk about it. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> My phone's ringing. So you've been to a Diddy party answer. too, huh? Hey, so me so never. How did you, hey, so back never. On, but listen, but listen. Back on your I am, music career since I'm an FA survivor. You what? I know what he said, and uh, that's something that was very fucking brave. That that's 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 something that we hear. never talked about on the podcast, but it's a real issue. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and let him talk. I don't want to get into detail on that too much either. Again, that's kind of in the biography as well, but and there's just not there. What, what did you say? I mean. I don't want to call myself a survivor like, yay, I'm an SA survivor, you know, because I'm like, you know, it's you want me to be happy about it. That's cool. You know, you know, it happened, you know, like whatever. So I was a kid, you know, like whatever. Did you know Catholic or okay? No, well, I'm born. I, I was born Catholic, but. I guess that's what that's what they you know my whole family like Catholic shit, whatever I, I don't fucking know man I look I went to church as a little bit of, like a little bit as a kid and a little bit as an adult like and I know I don't have to go to church to you know worship worship the Creator you know he, even in the Bible like like I've given my life to God all right okay. um I, I've been baptized you know but I don't call myself a Christian because nowhere in that or in any of those books, did Jesus say, if you believe I came here and did what I did, that that makes you a Christian? He he said, the only way to my father is through me. So, I mean, Emperor, Emperor Constantine right. said that that makes you a Christian. And Christian, you know, the I, I don't want to get into that either. I'm not going to talk religion, politics, none of that shit. I just, this is hey, a little bit about, about me. You're Constantine, though. Constantine You're was very the one that integrated all You're of our holidays, too. Your Constantine dude, was the one the that fucking Mike integrated all our shit. The, the real Mike. You know what real means? You know what real means? You're hip to the hop. Real means. Know what it means. All right. Well, well the act. Keep going. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Yeah, sorry, sorry. sorry. Just you. like. Look, look, just like rub it on your chest, no. right? R-O-I-C, rub it on your chest. Real, R-E-A-L, recognize everyone ain't loyal. No, yeah. Right? That's actually a good, that's actually a decent saying. I might have to take that, that one. It, nice. it, it, bro, like it's that. not mine. It's, it's not mine. I heard that shit a long time ago, so. And look, I'm not on here pretending to be perfect. I'm not perfect, bro. All right, guys, well. I'm gonna go record a new song. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I guess my next question is: you, you have, you have actually been incarcerated. So have I. I guess the question is: did the incarceration change you? Because I have guys that it made them different, and guys like me, we, we didn't like. Did it change you, or did it wake you up, basically? Because because to me, it woke me I up think. like, bro, this shit is not for me. Bro, I've been to prison. I've been to jail. The shit is horrible. It sucks. And it, it's like I, w I was able to fight my way through it and survive and sent money home and had a store and all that shit. But, like, did prison change you mentally? Yeah, yeah, bro. Listen, I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot of bad stuff, but I learned a lot of good stuff too. You know, stuff like me too. I learned a lot of good. I don't stuff. think me, me too. I, I really don't think you know. Even after going through the stuff like you know that I had already gone through as a kid and whatnot, you know, I don't think I would have been able to acknowledge that something created all of this. You know, and regardless on how many different stories there are about how how we need to do this and do that, you know, like. If we, you know, if we can't be useful to others, what are we supposed to do? You know, 
Did <laughs> did you find faith oh. locked up? Because I was an atheist for a long. I actually was a fucking Satanist. I I I actually was a piece of shit and was a Satanist. And then I got locked up and and then I found God. That's another story for another day. But my question is, did you find faith behind bars? Because I certainly did. Yeah. I feel like it got me closer. <laughs> it really. It really gave yep. me a chance to sit. Look, it really gave me a chance to sit and marinate, like in the Bible, you know, like 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 in yep. it, like front front to back, in between, daily breads, all that, you know. It gave, so so it really made me realize that you can't fucking take everything that you you know what you believe in life, right? You believe uh, nothing you hear and half of what you see. Okay, right? Like oh, that's God. how the saying Amen. goes. There yeah. you go. Yep. So. Yep. That's how the saying goes, like, take everything for a grain of salt, you know? It's, it's, oh, yeah. I'm just curious, salt, like, bro. Depending on who says it, or a mountain of salt, depending on who says it. I'm just a guy that's been through some things that enjoys music. You know, I do dad stuff, and, like, I'm a stay-at-home dad, you know? I'm about to be a collector, You're like, a nothing. Okay. Not, yeah. Okay, so let's get into that, because I'm, I'm, I'm a father, too. That's an interesting... So... As a father, do you see yourself reliving your childhood with your kids? Because my, because my kid has made me a kid. Again. You guys the most that. random <laughs> ass shit, bro. He's over no. here talking. Guest appearance. Yeah. Oh, Guest appearance. Hello. Hello. What we got up? Mike, we got Yo, Mike. is that Parker boy? boy and, uh, uh, Jay baby. What up, y'all? Yo, yeah. boy, yo, I know those guys. Oh, I, I know those, those guys. guys. I know. Well, well, one's a lady, but yeah, I, I know them. They're famous. Say what's up, guys. Yo, tell everybody to rub it on your chest real quick. Tell everyone to rub it on your chest. I'm one of the bros. Let's keep that right. Everybody else. Hey, Parker boy. Parker All right, Jay, baby, yeah. tell everybody let to rub that, it on their let chest. That fucking glock talk. Let that fucking Glock talk. Y'all know what it is. Let that fucking Glock talk. I'll fuck with y'all. I'll fuck with y'all. We remember you, brother. We remember you. We're around crazy and shit. We remember. Well, actually, no. We remember everybody here. We remember everybody here. Yes, oh, sir. Shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're we love you. Love you guys too. You super fucking high. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but anyway, back to the. He said, Mike B. Bro, we just sat. Mike B. I, was, I wasn't gonna say shit, but I sat there and watched you pull out a whole pot and make coffee while everybody's talking. That's some funny ass shit. I'm looking up here. Odd job, just over here, fucking. Mike B. Mike, I have a question. Mike, I have a question really quick. I think I broke my phone. Anyways, give me a kiss. I'm going to go hang out with them. Oh, shit. My question for the real Mike B is basic, basically, what, what, what happened that, that you changed? Because clearly you're not the same person that you once were. Was it being a father? Was it being locked up? What was the wake-up call that, like, bro, this shit just isn't it? All right, um... We're gonna get real on this podcast. We're about to uh -huh. just, uh, just Yeah. That's pretty wild. What? Say, what what, what made you change? On. Hold on. Uh, all right. Country's getting super deep with it. And I asked him what made him change and he said he hung himself. There now you caught up, bro. All right, so, so I'm saying, so let's go in, like, talk to me, bro. Let's, let's, let's low key have a therapy session on this motherfucker. Like, I, I've never all right, understood all right, yeah. that. So talk to me. So talk to me. Cause I've never understood right. it. Talk to me. So listen, right? So listen, okay. Um, so December, it was, it was almost Christmas time, December 19th. I'm, I'm living in Edgewood, Maryland. Uh, I'd been there for, <laughs> Three years living living with this uh, with this girl. I thought I was I was gonna spend the rest of my life with you know whatever maybe you know and that bro and honestly like, I had no idea what I was doing. I just left my kid's mom. All that it was a real just mess of a relationship and everything. And, so you were and I didn't have no, you were hurting. Lit, you were listen, hurting. I grew up. 
a lot of people would tell you they don't understand how the fuck I'm even still here walking. You know, like I, I grew up with no support. I ran the streets because I couldn't sit home with my parental because of physical and emotional and verbal abuse, you know? So it's like, whatever, you know? But the second I would give back that same kind of energy or raise my voice or not, you know, my mom was on the phone with children's services, like, yo, come get them. Yeah, you're the bad guy. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> you're the bad guy. So you were, okay, okay, continue. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. this is so fucked up. Keep on, man, this shit, I understand it. We're not there anymore, God. okay? But the past is the place to reference, not reside in. That's why, the, that's why the rear view mirror is a lot smaller than the windshield, you know? On me. So, on me. On me. So, um, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, yeah, so, so what led to the... So, yeah, so, but it was just, you know, we liked each other. We didn't. Uh, her, her, She had a daughter with another guy. And like, bro, I, I had been staying there for like a week not even, and this guy was rapping on the door, pop, pop, she's at work, pop, 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 like, yo, and da, 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 and I'm like, can I help you, dude? He's like, yeah, I'm so-and-so's dad, and I'm like, all right, well, what do you want? He's like, I just want to see who you were, and I'm like, I honestly, you know, I get it, I get it, okay, I'm I'm a dad, too, you know, I'm just, just got my kid around other people, I, I get it, I'm like, I get it. Like, you just come in, you want to talk to me, whatever, you know? Like, but, you know, it's, I was never shit for that family. Like, her, like, high, like, I don't want to say, like, high class, but fancy stuff, but in debt, you know? Like, like, you ever just, like, oh, it, it's not, hey, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to down degrade anybody else. You know what happened, happened. Like, she's living her life, kids just, married, just, and that's great. I'm fucking happy back. for it. It's all awesome. facts. It's, you know, it's all facts. No, you're okay, bro. Right it's, it's just keep talking. But, facts. Just keep you know, talking. so so our relationship fell fell apart. You know, like it didn't end horribly. You know, of course it wasn't happy. She, you know, she, she I don't, you know, she had a lot of pressure from her family. Like, you know, this, okay, cool. So, literally, I, I literally sat on the front steps while her brother and you know sister in law moving shit out, and I'm like, you know, it's all right. Yeah, you know, just feel like honestly wasn't that like to me that shit it was right unbelievable there yeah. motherfucker down like how yeah you, no like, no no listen like it was like like, like, like back up from that? it was brought like I, i'm in a three-story townhouse with nothing but like not like the bare minute a couple of play i got my coffee cup couple of plates a mattress and the laptop you know my phone that's it and then luckily i you know i was working at harbor freight and i walk right you know it's like five minute walk boom i'm there you know so I, i've been working there for a couple of years like i'm just it's not like it's it's not like i wasn't like pulling my weight and shit like i don't it's just a lot of shit and plus i was going through a lot of things mentally too my kid's mom and causing problems you know, like everywhere i go just like oh well it's nuts like still to this day i just had to go to court a couple of weeks ago just to be found not guilty so like like shut up you know, not you guys, just life. Shut the fuck up. I'm here. Give it to me. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I beat my own ass. What the fuck are you gonna do? You know? Oh yeah. God. Oh God. Oh yeah. so, God. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, and I'm not a tough guy. I'm I'm not a fucking tough guy. I don't portray to be. You know? I'll let you know. Like, hey, listen. I I feel like you're disrespecting me. This and that. I'd rather talk about it. You know, oh, hey. Man. Hey, right, well, like, I guess, they weed, say, let's not fight, you know. Like, you know cooperation you know? always achieves more than confrontation. That's so, right. There's so much more we can do together than fighting people, yep. fighting each other, especially yep. like, bro, spe uh, for, for God damn. I'm like, like, I guess someone disrespects you. Cool. Check them. But, you know, you want to fight about it, fight about it. I don't want to fucking kill nobody for what? Then, then you don't get to come back and right your wrongs or none of that. There's nothing. I wanted to see you know, the leg. No, I'm scared. <laughs> you know, I hope I never have to kill somebody. You know, it's but like always, you know, it's it's always better to have it and not need it than the other way around. So of course, you know, uh, hey, I have a family. I want to come home at the end of the day. I was in Chicago yesterday. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't have a problem going places. I don't have a problem talking to I people. Don't either, like, but I don't like that Jerry once, just like driving through, bro. Like, it's cool. well, listen, that's why you it's keep a thing. joint. Like Ralphie May said, "God rest Ralphie it's May." Right. So you keep a joint behind you. You're like, "Yo, chill. Listen, now you can rob me, or we can smoke this and then go so rob somebody else me. together." <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, but oh, but anyway, so oh, yeah. that was right before Christmas. Shit, so man, Christmas. Fucking- how- Christmas, New Year's. I'm sorry. What were you gonna say? We were listening to no, you, right. bro. Just keep talking. Oh, oh, keep talking. My Tell bad. us about okay. what happened. So she leaves Christmas, New Year's. You know, by myself. I'm still working at Harbor Freight. I eventually move out of the townhouse into a, another townhouse, but it's like a you know a boarding house. I get my own room, and we all like share a living space literally right across the parking lot from the house you know so that didn't help but i needed some place no, close i didn't have help. my license that wouldn't help you know? at all okay okay so that didn't my help license was no yeah, my license was suspended at the time and you know um ended up uh one of the guys in the boarding house ended up you know cracking me in the head with a club one night and i ended up getting 11 staples in my head and it is you know edgewood it's not like i'm not like it's uh you know I got my head split open by like a 30 pound rock once because my friend thought I could throw it over my head in the river. Bro, this guy split my fucking head. head. Hit Hit me. Hit me. It, 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 my right. head only got split once when I wrapped my Z06 or on uh, uh, on a pole on 161. Yeah, when I got life fighter, I split my shit too. So three of us have split our shit. That's I got funny. Split I've split, split my head, head a couple of times. I don't grow hair still, like right here. <laughs> I split my shit once too. Yeah, That's why and I the don't hairline rock never recovers. Anymore. The hairline never recovers. On God, on me, my Fair. hair still. Well, listen, yo. Listen, ready. L- listen, like I, as soon as he hits me, like I grab him and I have him in a headlock, and I, I pull my blade off my side, and I'm, 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 I'm literally about to like. You're ready I'm to telling jug you. Him. You about listen, to jug listen. Him. I feel, I feel him. the blood. I feel the blood coming down my thing. Like, like I've, I've reached up and like, bro, I had eleven staples. All right, so I tell this dude, I was like, I don't want to hurt this guy. Like, even after I'm like, listen, bro. I'm going to let you go. I need medical attention. I don't have to, but I, I'm going to. That's You're going to be cool. That's a real man. That's a real man. I let him go. That's a go. real man. Listen, That's a real man. Listen, I let him go. I didn't press charges on him. You know, it was fucking just asshole Respect. shit. You know? Respect. So, Respect. Yup. I got 11 staples. My ex, right, actually meets me at the hospital because she's still on my emergency contact. She comes. It was funny. I go into MRI, right? And they knock me out because I like. I'm like, yeah, I can't go in that machine. They're like, here, smell this. I'm like, well, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm, not, well, I'm in this bunch of noise and shit. And they're like, all right, so listen, we see a head injury, okay? Like, like you have a head injury, but it's not fresh. Like yeah. it's old. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's like almost 20 years old. I, I'm aware of that. They're like, all right, well, you don't have anything new. Just, so. So that was great, man. So, like, you know, I'm working fucking, you know, God, that was the end of January. So, like, two days before or two days after I got my uh, I, I, I got my staples out on the 16th of February 2020. So February 18th, 2020, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I just had it like nothing, you know, like I can't see my son because some you know fucking again her family and it, it, it's nuts i don't want to get into that either like i'm supposed to see him i'm just that they don't let me see him and you know but i'm supposed to so we'll get there um i don't have nothing my mom had just passed away I, my sisters don't talk to me like my blood sisters i don't know another family that i fucking know really it's like cool man i found nice pink button up and fucking nice pants stacy adams shoes on and shit and i fucking kicked it bro and i hung myself kicked the dresser up and i hung there for a second and my shit broke and i hit the ground Damn. <laughs> ball. was it really yeah, sure. when the rope broke though like were you like okay like were you in that oh fuck i shouldn't have done this phase like you took, before the rope question. broke or? yep that 
was my so, question, dude. When the rope broke, were you sitting there like, oh fuck, or were you? That was my question. Yup, yup. I was mad. I, was, I didn't want to be there. I was yeah, that's real. And that's real. That's I, why I asked you because yeah, that's what I bro, wanted to hear so, the truth. So, like, listen, listen, like, literally that truth. day. Literally, uh, and, and like, I'm like, happy literally. that road broke, Mike. I'm happy that Good, road man. broke. Yeah, yeah. You know what's real, right? Like, like, listen. When I was at that show with, with you guys and Regal and White and shit, like, I was talking to White, just you know, da da da. And I told him, he just out of nowhere, it just came out of my. I'm like, bro, I'm four years off a suicide attempt. He stopped me, you know, because then I kept going with something else. He's like, yo, stop, come here, bro. It's like, give me a hug. He's like, I'm glad you're still here. So like, yo, shout out, shout out to White for that, bro. You know, uh, yeah. we still rock that shit. You know, it's just like, yo, it's fucking, you know, cool. Um, no, like, I went downstairs. You know, there there was a balcony. You know, I'm sitting there drinking a cup of coffee. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm reevaluating my life. So I'm like, okay, cool. Didn't happen. So what am I supposed to do? Like I'm literally yeah, talking. What was that? Like, is, what 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 was that mental dialogue like after the attempt failed? What was the mental dialogue? That's an interesting point. Exact. What was that mental conversation once that rope broke? Why? Why? Like I'm not gonna try it again. Why? Like I get it. But why? Okay. So. I, know, I do my best today to be a voice for those who either can't or don't know how to right now. Right. Again, I'm not right. perfect. I'm fucking, right. You know, I got problems. I got a fucking permanent head injury. It's fucking worse every day. It's like I'm fucking prone for like weird noises or like I'll, I'll fucking break into a scene from a movie and like full character in the middle of Walmart for what? Before I landed like 30 seconds into it, I'm like, what am I doing? Why? <laughs> you ever like, you, you ever just been like Dramatic fucking like yelling, like yelling, like yelling and screaming CGI. at something like, like you're like yelling and screaming at something and every other little fucking thing is happening. And you like, you're standing outside of yourself. Like, what are you doing? Like, stop. That's PTSD. That's called PTSD. Yeah. I know what that is. That's called PTSD because I've been through it. That's, I, I, that's PTSD. That, but... So, what's just, your inspiration you know, so... today? What keeps you going today? Damn. Because you've been through real Coach, shit. You took that right what out of my you... head. I literally was about to say, so what's your inspiration? That was fucking wild. Dude, today, bro, yeah, today my kids, like, look... <laughs> Like, 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 I can't see my, well, like, like I said, I'm supposed to see my biological son. There's core paperwork, all this, as I'm supposed to, but his grandfather, like, her dad is a cop in the same county and all this. She's not even supposed to have him, but she does, and it's all kinds of shit, you know? Like, her boyfriend beat the shit out of him back in, like, when he was 18 months old, and then they lied and this and that, and didn't call me. Children and youth called her dad because he's a cop. And then they called me after, like, five days after he was already in his custody. And, you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I'm not crying about it. It's good. That shit's already done, over with. I got fucking blessed by the Lord a couple of weeks ago. We got a phone call. and was like, yo, you got a fucking lawyer on retainer to go get your kid. Fuck it. Thank you. So that's happened. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. So my next question is, do you, you, because I've got a mental health diagnosis. I'm not going to bullshit about it. I, I have PTSD and traumatic brain injury. Do you have a mental health diagnosis? And if so, what do you do to cope with it? Ever since I was a kid, all right, I was diagnosed. My mom had like, I was in and out of the counseling, family-based counseling and all that shit. You know, I didn't have a dad. So my mom wanted me to like be with some grown people you know like like whatever it was not cool now dear lord if i fucking you know god yeah shit you know i'm, I'm, I'm not even going there but and i was i was on ritalin paxil adderall fucking zyprexa there's a whole bunch of 
I was on Ritalin and Vyvanse. I was on Ritalin and Vyvanse as a kid. Since I was bro, since I was old enough to go down to the nurse's office in school and take it in the middle of the day and shit, you know, like like yep, why? Like, like and that, and that shit didn't lunch. help either. Listen, yep, they like the fucking Ritalin during lunch. Yep, I had bro, Ritalin the pills? during lunch and the shit didn't work. It, it it just made me a drug addict. Yep, I I understand. <laughs> The pills back then, man, like, 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 they fucking, like, some, like, they didn't, they were just experimenting. I told you, I wasn't, like, fucking six different yeah, drugs. They I didn't, were playing you know? with us. They and, were and, like, listen, like, it, with us. it, it makes you fucking, it hurt so much. Then talk about it. This is a place where you can talk about it, because I've been hurt by the same shit where they drugged me up because they didn't under, understand me. Like, I understand it, bro. Talk about it. This is what you're here for. Talk about it. Re release this shit. We can heal. We, we, we can heal today together. Talk about it. You got any songs about any of that stuff, man? Talk I do, about actually. Sing about it. I got a... I got a song here. Here, yeah, I'll put this up. Uh, I actually know. We <laughs> gonna heal. I can today. send it though. We're about to heal today. We're about to heal today. Talk to me, bro. Oh. Talk to me. Yeah, Talk send it to me. And we're gonna make a trip to All Jobs Car to get his papers too. Yo, we're <laughs> about to have a healing session today. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. What would because I understand you like country I going full therapist. Used... We're having a healing session. No, I swear to God, because I can relate to it. Oh, this yeah. shit is my story. This is my story. Send me, so uh... talk to me, bro. Holler. So tell me when you, you went oh, to, the, frozen. to the, the nurse's office to take pills. Didn't you feel that like embarrassment? Like, bro, why am I different than everybody else? Cause I did, I fucking did. I felt different as fuck. Bro, I think he's froze. I think he's froze too because I've been there. Okay. Or he's all right, all right. I'm back. I'm back. I could hear you the whole time. I could hear you the whole Perfect. time. Perfect. Talk, all right. Because I had the um, that embarrassment. Talk to me. All right. I just, I just never liked taking the meds, man. Never. I, I never liked taking them, but you know, I had to, and then I stopped taking them when I was like, I stopped taking them when I was like. Fuck that shit. Uh, but anti and you all were about those and all that shit. You were about Smoke 13. Oh, Mike B, uh, you were about 13 when you quit taking them, right? That was me. I was about 13. I was like 11. No, I was like 11 or 12, and I think that really kind of helped me. Like, you know, what's this? I, I, and, and, and then I went to jail when I was 13. Yes. <laughs> I went to and then I got at, out of jail. 15. I went to jail at 15. I understand. Listen, like I got out of jail and I got hit by a car just riding my bike as a kid. You know, again, argument with my mom. Can't be at home on my bike. I actually left my buddy. We argued. Uh, we were at a friend's house swimming and we fucking argument. So I hopped on the bike and left. You know, it's not her fault. It's not. Look, I, I get it. Uh, look, I'm grateful. I look. I'm, I even talk about it in the song that is uh, what song? Which one did I just do? Is it one of the ones you sent me? Oh yeah, yeah. It's called "How You Like Me Now." I did. It's, 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 it's what I do with my little man. Um, I even talk about it. Like if I could go back, I'd do it all again the same. I'm not changing shit because. I don't know if I would I like fine, so who done. I would be today. I just sent you exactly. one. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know if I would like no, me if that shit I didn't happen. The you know, truth if is I go the back guys and guys like us, Mike B, the guys like us, if we did it different, we wouldn't be alive today. And that's the truth. We had to do it our own way here. We wouldn't be alive. Oh, and you know that's true, Mike. The more famous people out here. Famous people. What's up, dude? What's up, buddy? We got famous Yo, people Hicker, out really. here. I, I sent, I sent you a new email just a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, we own it. Song's called Overrated. But it's on all platforms. He froze for a minute. I couldn't see Shout shit. Shout out to him. Oh, shit. So I sent you, I sent you another up, email just a minute ago. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to download right now. All right, but it's downloading. 
I'm gonna mute my mic when you play this one so you guys can like hear the lyrics. Like this song's pretty dope. Perfect. Perfect. And we'll be quiet and listen to mm-hmm. it. You sure about that country? Shut the fuck. This is a special moment on the Billy Bullshit podcast. Country bands is gonna be quiet. Oh. That's very rare. That is very rare. rare. It takes a minute well, to oh, believe me, that don't happen much. That's right. That <laughs> does not happen. <laughs> much. Here we go. Oh, is it the real might be might be I just need the whole was overrated the whole wooden street been infiltrated shout out to the ones who kept it real but others imitated meeting dog no offense if you ain't get the car to stir your floors up and call me super babbing loving y'all hold up I'm almost done twisting up. Is you with it? I'm with it. Light it up. Okay. If you gon' hit it, then hit it. They said I couldn't, but I did it. Now I'm in a minute to win it. Uh-huh. So let me hit it again. Somebody find a man and throw it out of shit it again. Okay. You see the third and the ten? Had them all looking foolish like they missing the wind. So stand up to the damn song. A prance song and never wanted me to a bad song. The mask off. It don't really matter. Pants on. So hands up. Cause here I come and taking no ransom. Shit, what? All these people rude, huh? All they do is bitch, why? Mean in the face, sir. Always looking pissed, huh? They don't wanna let me stand, but I ain't gonna sit. What are you doing? I was gonna go for a walk. Uh, you're not going for a walk, you ain't that piece what? of shit. What? Why would you not say that? Anything. Get away from me. You think you're alone? Shit, I battle with depression too. Plus, I got a TBI, but I won't say what that can do. But if you know this shit, I feel you never really had a home. And everywhere I went, they said I had a fucking attitude. Sound like the dude saying I, I sold my soul to the devil today. Hell yeah, that was fire, bro. Thanks. That one released. That's it. Oh shit. Yeah, That's yeah, it. that one's on all platforms. Yeah, unmute your shit. Hell yeah. Can you hear me? I'm about to add that to that fucking playlist. No, I can hear you. I job was still okay. Why well, was I muted? What? Piece of garbage trash. I have famous people in the background. 
Who is it? Oh, yeah. That's so, not a, not a Northern you, Mike, B. Let me ask you, Mike B. How did you get your fucking start in music? I mean, I told you, like... I like, told us how you got your recording? name and your hype man and shit, but, like, how, like... Yeah. Oh, how you actually started recording? I was, was recording. The first time I went up like, all... you, I guess. I guess I'm asking what made you get serious with it. Like, when did you yeah, have your what moment made you of like, serious? all right, I'm what gonna made... be a fucking artist. I'm gonna take this shit serious. Yup. What made you take it for real? Yup. Exactly. I wrote. Well, I well, well. Up. Like, I wrote and recorded my very first song when I was like 16. So I'm like fresh out the wheelchair and shit. And they used to, it, it was called "Give Me That Butt," and I recorded it on uh, Master P's uh, "Dem Jeans" beat. That shit, what you got? Them, that shit, bro. And they used to play that shit at the skate rink every Friday night. Like <laughs> it was dope. So, like, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And then in my 20s, like, life happened. You know, addictions and fucking probation and fucking in and out of jail i think i got yeah, 18 months total like wrapped up and not 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 bragging stupid it's just in the county stupid dude dumb wasted so much time in there but like still like if i would have never went to jail i never would have heard a rub it on your chest that's the first place i ever heard it Center playing cards and someone's like, "What's up with that?" Yeah, Shit, someone's all like, "We got that one too." You want me to play that one? I mean, you can if you want to. It's pretty dope. Do you guys tell him my name? Play. My bad. I think I'm like, tell him my name. Oh, yeah. no, no, uh, tell the story behind it real quick. Tell the story. Yeah. All right. So, um, I actually wrote the song in like 2013 because I was pissed off. Because I would got transferred from York County, where I had heard it all the time, to Adams County, where I had never been, and I would never heard it there. So I get on the block in Adams County, and I'm like, cool, I don't have to hear that shit. And this, this old guy is playing cards with somebody, stands up, he slams it. He's like, man, rub that shit on your chest. Like, for real, I was like, fuck! Like, like just laughing. looking at me like, whatever. <laughs> when them dudes you know? play oh, cards yeah. dude, like, and they hit that table so fucking hard, that shit used to piss me off. The motherfuckers playing dominoes and cards, and they would slap that shit so fucking hard. Oh, that's not why I was pissed. I was pissed because I had to hear rub it on your chest again. So, like, bro, I sat, I was, I was right. I was just, it was like a parody of what it is today. Like, believe me. It's, um, yeah. and then, uh, like I said, uh, life happened and then 2020 I, you know that happened and then i came back that day i i, I called this girl that was like my sister because i seen you know when i was out re re analyzing my life and where to go from here like i see she was looking for a living nanny and i was like let me call her at least and let her know what i was like hey what's up so you're looking for a nanny uh well i just like this is what just happened you know i, I need help like I transferred my job. Like she's like, I'll come get you, pack your shit. I'm like, my shit's already packed. I was going like I wasn't leaving a mess for nobody. Yeah, my shit's like, packed. Yeah, yeah, my shit's big. As, as morbid packed. as it sounds, as morbid as it sounds, I wasn't leaving anything for anybody to clean up out of body and some. I under- rope. No, I understand it. When I was you know? shooting, uh, I understand it. I understand it. I, I, I'm just. You know, you're being real, and that's what uh, we want. You're actually being real, so so exactly. So, no, don't yeah. stop. Be real, bro. Be real. I'm a real dude. Like, listen, I'm not like I don't go out here. I'm not hurting people. I'm not a fucking gangster. I'm not a fucking like I, whatever. The most gangster shit I ever did was fucking tie my shoes and fucking turn my life around. You know, whatever. Oh uh, me, oh God, oh well, you wanna, me. You want to play? Rub it on your chest. Play For most of the ga- most of the most gangsters. How's everybody doing today? So that's great. So what we're gonna do today is learn how to rub shit on your chest. Not not real shit, but all your bullshit. All right. Yeah. How the F you been? Been gone for a while, came back to win Came back from bids to bring back the shit To lace up the track to bring back the itch uh, I came to stir up the tension Take it to the top and go hard 
Hey, now that I got your attention, rub it on your chest. I don't need an intervention. Dewey, thicker than chop suey. The way they talk about me, swear that they all knew me. Yeah, I bet if you all blew me, fall in love with a you decide you won't do me. Still, I catch you always try to judge me. Wear my shoes in my life and try to run me. Don't laugh in my face if you think this shit's funny. R I O I C, you dummies. When I hate me gone, if it's my only chance left, never quit. You don't like it, you can rub it on your chest. Feel now that everybody been still pissed, all the real ones left. Hey. You wanna hate me on? Hey, they bout something, talk game real long, still ain't seen nothing. So why you running? Huh? Stop praying. I came back. Yep. It's like I never even left. Still a hole in the wall, I'm still behind on the rent. I had it up to here with this shit. All I can do is do me. The rest of you can get back. You never liked me. I was different than the rest. The one all the kids picked on to mess with. Never had the cool things of friends I got left. That poor kid sitting all alone on the bench. Hold up. The only chance I got left. Who'd have thought I'd get the whole world to rub it on their chest? Rub, rub, rub it on your chest. Even my PO told to rub it on the breast. Think I'ma lose, not likely When shit hits the fan, you run away, not might be Whoever fall down, gotta rise above it Throw that shit on your chest and rub it. When the hate be gone, if it's my only chance left Never quit, you don't like it, you can rub it on your chest How I feel now that everybody been so pissed All the real ones left You wanna hate and it's on Hey, they bout something, talk game real long Still ain't seen nothing So why you running, huh? Stop fronting My mind's twisted Grab this blunt full of incense Sit down and burn to get lifted Gotta be the reason Got a hard time listening Hard headed They call me persistent I swing heads You've been fed So stop bitching Been dead Now I'm back on a mission If anything The only thing that's consistent I'll be coming back Till you cease from existence Wanna hate me gone If there's only chance left Never quit You don't like it You can rub it on your chest How I feel now That everybody best Still pissed All the real ones left You wanna hate me song Hey, they bout some talk game real long, still ain't seen nothing. So why are you running? Huh? Stop fronting. You wanna hate the song? Hey, they bout some talk game real long, still ain't seen. Huh? Yeah. That's it. Yep. Rub that shit on your chest. Rub it. Rub it. Take it all. All that bullshit. Don't give it to me. Take it. Put it in your hand. Put your hands firmly on your chest and just rub that shit. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's what's up. I fuck this. This is hella old. It's still banging. Oh, yeah. dog. That's a mo. That's a white boy anthem. That's a white boy anthem. That's yeah. fire. Hell yeah. So oh, fucking. That's, that... That's anybody's dude, anthem. Like that. Every single mud mudding park in the country needs that shit on their playlist. That's a fucking hey. rip the mud hole with a Kawasaki type shit. I got that on the country rap playlist I made too, man. Yup, that that's a there. country rap. That's a fucking Hell hit the yeah. mud hole with a lifted fucking, truck uh, joint right there. That's a we jack them up and then we ride them hey, high. That's that's so what where would you with. say you fucking get your influence in rap from? That's my qu- my you influence. Really, I swear to God, you took my All words. Right. God damn it. Me and Hicker really so, have that so, six set. What the fuck? So listen, like my favorite hip hop artist of all time is We're DMX. Team. You know, rest in peace. You know, rest in peace, to Mr. Earl Simmons. As I cried for like two weeks, bro. Like I, I still I was like, damn, bro. Like what would you, you know, like, dope, you know. I before him, I'd never really heard it put down like him. You know, like I'd never heard something like that. You know, like I had heard Pac and shit and all that, and I was like, cool, you know, it was dope. But I'm not like running the streets, and you know, Pac had some dope songs, but I'm not, I'm not like, like I'm not it's a different lifestyle, you know. But DMX, like, bro, I was hurting. He was hurt. I was no, like, damn, DMX I was like, I could, was one of them ones. I could relate You're to it. Absolutely them. right. You know, DMX I could was actually to real as shit. Yeah, you know. You're so, right. Um, oh yeah. You know, and I, he, like I said, like, I grew up listening to everything, man. Kevin Gates. Like, DMX was Kevin Gates before Kevin Gates. Started. Like, he was the original Gates type shit. You're absolutely right. He was really about it. Uh, shout out to Kevin Gates. You know, Kevin Gates. Cool shout cool out, man. Gates. Um, shout out, Bez Believe. Shout out, <laughs> Gates. Yup, what up, what up? Um, yeah, man. And, you know, Eminem, of course. Um. Eminem's in like my top five, man. But uh, 
That's what's up, man. So well, it shit. influences, influences, you know, as far as, you know, can I what can I talk about? Kind of like, weird? what's up? Can I ask you something about a musical influence that's kind of weird? Basically, all of us have a lot of rappers, but what female artist influenced you? Me, it was Lauren. It was Lauren Hill. That's one of my musical influences. Uh, Odd Job said that Carhurdy B was one of his, and I think Hicker, <laughs> what? Hicker no. really said that Sexy Red was one of his. Shut but the fuck up. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm just trying to ask, what female artist do you actually rock with? We all have one. Mine is yeah. Glorilla, and for real, Glow Glorilla is mine. I ain't even going cap. That motherfucker is nasty with it. So, what female artist do you bang out with? Basically, we all got uh, got the one. All right. Shout out to uh, Nelly Furtado. Shout out to uh, Missy Elliott. Shout out to Shakira. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to uh, Blue Cantrell. Uh, God yo. damn you! Shout out! Shout out to Alicia Keys. Shout out to Mary J. Blige. Uh, Shout out to Lil Kim. Shout out! uh, Yeah, bro. Um, that's real. I told you some of these women go goddamn hard, and that's the truth. Shout out to Remy Ma. Um, Yeah, Remy uh, Ma. Yeah, yeah. like come on, come on. Shout out to um, Renny Rouge's little fine ass. She's she can spit. I'm sorry, no offense. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Shout out to you. Kevin Gates. It's a, it's a, okay. It's, okay, oh, see. Oh, yeah. Listen, oh, I, listen, next- listen, no offense, but I barely know who Kevin Gates is, and that's not a cut on him. That's no offense, nothing. He don't know who the fuck I am either, but, you know, he's, he's, he's a dope artist for sure. I don't know oh, him personally at all, but I mean he's either. a dope artist. He's dope as shit. So, yeah. I, I've only bumped into, I think, uh, Bez Believe once, and it was through the WTF. Bez Believe is dope. Bez Believe is dope. I only, uh, yeah. and no, I don't even think that he remembers me because at the time I was just starting out. So I was doing songs with other artists. I, I actually didn't even have my own set yet. So I don't even think he, that his ass remembers me. But he was nice and. Was, and he actually, Bez Believe, gave me some of the best advice. And I don't even think he remembers the conversation. But he told me, no matter what you do, try to sound like yourself. Do not sound like another artist because they've already been signed. And that shit stuck with me to this day. It's shout out Bez Believe because he actually gave me that advice. I don't even think that he knows who the fuck that I am. But he said those words to me, and I was like, "Damn, this boy knows." He hit my. So uh, that's why I, I oh, fucking yeah. will never forget those words. Never sound like someone else because someone else has already been signed. He hit my Instagram like a year and that a half ago, two real. years ago. That shit just, was real, though. Yeah, bro, definitely. Like I said, he, he hit my Instagram like a year and a half or two years ago. I can't remember if it, it's on there somewhere. I can't remember if it's in the inbox or if it's on a comment, but whatever it was, it said, uh, what do I say, thanks for supporting independent music or whatnot. Like, it was just out of the blue. No, I think it was I on a comment on a post he, I made. He actually inter- interacts with his fans. No, that's actually true. Bez believes one oh, yeah. one of the ones that will fucking hit, hit a actual fan up. If you hit him up, like, bro, I'm struggling like fuck. He'll actually hit, hit you back. Because I have been, t- been told that by uh, multiple ar- artists. Bez, Bez believe answers, supposedly. I've just never hey, hit him up. But. You know who another dope artist is? This guy. Right here. Oh, Odd, yeah. job, odd Job's my homeboy. Yeah. That that, 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 no, no, listen. Yeah. He is a great That's the biggest artist. Biggest little no, rapper no, in the game. Can I say something? You know what your next yeah, shirt something. should be, bud? You know what your next shirt should be? Huh. You should, like, on the front of your shirt, you should have the back of you, right? Like, raising your shirt. And then on the back, you should have you with your shirt up and, like, your nipple tattoo and all that. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it, it would be, like, flip-flop. It would be flip-flop, like, reverse. 
Like people are always going to look at the back because they're going to see like your backside on the front of your shirt. Like what the fuck is that? And then they go look at your back and it's your, it's your titties. That's hilarious. Actually. And you'd be like, you'd be like, that's oh, offensive. Yeah. Rub that shit on that's your chest. That's fucking hilarious. Rub that that's shit hilarious. on your chest. Oh yeah. Hey, odd job. Take can a pat your back. They can pat your back and rub your chest at the same time. Can I say something? They can look at your odd ass job. and your tits at the Dude, same time. All of y'all are sleeping on odd on odd job. This motherfucker is versatile. That's all I. I am I'm not sleeping on odd job. This motherfucker. There's no way I'm sleeping with our job. I am married. Of, he can do a lot of different styles, bro. Cause that's all I'm. He, he I'm said he can digging. do a lot of different styles. He said I'm not listen, with that, job. I'm married. With that being Country said, said, he can do a lot of different styles. Listen, with bro, that being said, go, I can be single on Saturdays. Wink, no, wink. I'm saying our job can go reggae. No, I'm saying no, I no, no, no. I, I know Ray what you're Gay saying. Gay I was, I was making a funny. Dude, he has a song, bro. It went right over he, country's head. He's too, like, wrapped up in what he was saying. He didn't even hear I'm the I'm too joke. stoned. I'm so fucking stoned. I went right over my head. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but, ser but no, seriously. Odd job and I have a feature coming out if I ever receive this yeah. verse in my email. I Shout gotta get it recorded. I still haven't recorded it, Mike, but it's, ro it's ready. I know. I haven't and, recorded listen, I know, and I'm yet, not mad. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. I'm not. Look, you're not special. I know, and I'm Dude, not mad. I, I know where you're at right now. Oh, you're like, bro. Shit. He's like, he said nobody's, nobody's mad. Shit's getting recorded. Nobody's oh, mad. Shit. But supposedly my internet's fixed. I got a message from uh, Spectrum this morning saying my internet issues resolved. So I like, have Spectrum. They're yeah. a piece of shit. I have Spectrum too. They fucking. What's that, bro? You're gonna get sued. I'm like Don't now that I'm not in my at my house and haven't been there for two days. You know now my internet. Oh, I hate again. Spectrum. Oh, right. Spectrum's that right. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> I'm on Wi-Fi. My internet stopped well, working shit, as soon as it started, and I was like, "Oh, my my Chrome is updating. That's why it's not working." Well, shit, oh, Mike, bro. I was like, Verizon. No, but nobody with Verizon's working. <laughs> is there anything that we didn't talk about that you want to talk about or tell us about? Ooh. I'm going to be rocking out with Struggle Jennings tomorrow in Harrisburg. Hell yeah. If anybody, yeah. if, and well, so by, the, by be, the time this show airs. today, yeah, when it airs. So what time yeah. if you're in Harrisburg, open. if you're in yeah, Harrisburg, doors open. Him All right. up, by show the time Sunday. you're watching this, he'll be there. Sunday, April 14th at the Harrisburg Midtown Art Center, otherwise known as HMAC. Doors open at 6, show starts at 7. I sold all the tickets they gave me to sell. They're all gone. All of hell them. Yeah. Well, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And yeah. you know, I'm not even on a, I hope they're happy. I'm just like, I don't care if they're happy or not. Take your shit and let's do this. Yes, sir. I got you know 30 I'm people yeah. coming and if they can't make it, fuck it. Hell yeah. We'll We're still gonna rock out a little bit Bro, early. Listen, too. I rocked out in little bars with like ten people. I don't care. You put me on stage, I will rock out in front of a mirror. I've been doing that my whole fucking life. I don't care. Well, that's yeah. good. Practice, I have my own actually. audience. No, that's really good oh, yeah. practice to perform in front of a actual mirror first, so you can look at the movements and watch yourself. That's really good. That's actually smart to do hey, that. that. I dance well, to the beat of my own drum. Non-blind motherfucker. What? I said, yeah, that works well. If you got two eyes, my ass be walking into the mirror trying to watch myself. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, all right, damn, what's going so, on here? So, yo, what, yeah. what all songs did a, I play? Hey, uh, we gotta get you a pirate patch, I job. I've thought about it. But it's gotta be on the eye that doesn't have the tattoo on it. Oh, yeah, that's my good the... eye. This is my good yeah. eye. All right, cool. Yeah. So you oh, put a pirate patch on the other one. He tattoos his good eye. Dingus. Yeah. And what, what you do? Dingus. What you do is you get a fucking pirate patch, and then you get a transfer with hoodbilly on it. So you got a hoodbilly pirate patch on your fucking eye, dude. That'd be. A <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Hicker Billy. Um, what's up? What man? all songs that I send you that we didn't that 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 you didn't play yet? Because I know there's one in there. Like I don't know how long the share goes, but. There's one in there I definitely want you guys to hear. So the ones that are left are fine, so done, memory lane, and okay. All right. 
Which memory one? lane more kind of touches base on, on on like my younger life and some some other stuff. If you want to play that, that's dope. Just. You bet. Got you. But but you got you definitely. I, I I would like for you guys to hear fine. That's what me and Bobby Bars comes out next Saturday. Bet we'll play we'll play that one next. Hell yeah. Alright, this is memory lane. Mom, mom, mom. What? Can I go ride my bike? I don't think so. Well, why not? Because that's not fair, that's why. Control it, that's not fair. Ah. Listen, here, you little shit. It doesn't matter what you want. Listen to me, you got it? What's wrong? I didn't even hit you that hard. Come over here and let me see that. No, you jerk! Started out making moves, have big dreams. 8403 turn to ashes. Flashbacks of the Jeep and the crashes. Broken promises turned to burnt trust. A love lesson in life passes, burnt lust. And a dream five days to wake up. Four wheels, four gear, life sucks. Seen things that no man should take. So broke and so full of hate. No friends, the whole world is fake. When I was stuck in the chair, these cats walked away. God, this isn't what I asked for. Lord, give me a sign. It's heaven, the destination of my passport. And look, I'm just trying to get on, but I've been stuck for too long. It's time to get home. Michael, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. What? You're always doing nothing. That's all you are is nothing. Anxiety builds from the bills that you gave me But I was your baby Never cling to the world, it's the way that you made me Might as well snap, take a step back Stroll through this memory lane I was like six, I ain't no shit Dumped on my own Brooklyn Or you was whooping my ass and then friend would laugh Why you claim to be a saint? I lived through the pain, I made this lane I ain't gonna be the same I've been running for too long, so long and so forth For no work in Newports and you know that it hurts With no friends in these hands and this year It depends, I'll be here or be dead so long, bye bye, see ya. I'm leaving if the past is the past. Is it too late to begin? I'll be out and be clown, be that or be now, be here or the ground, be lost or be found. Gotta be the problems, the nations, the ladies, the ones that claim to be grown but living like babies. Bullshit drama, babies, the mamas, the irresponsible dads, the calling themselves fathers, the fights, the stress, the bites, the rest. Sometimes they had the right weight. You turn black, the teeth, the teeth, the teeth, the street. The only thing that ever changed is me. And I'm done. Everything from the past right now. Can't hear you. Bob you guys muted are all me. muted. All of you. There you go. There you go. Bro, yep. you fucking, you're a horrible was, DJ, first of all. Hit really. deep shit. Second man. of all, fire. Fire, Mike. What is yeah. that song called? What's that song called Mem and where is it? It's uh, called Memory Lane and it's on like iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, shout out to King Rash, uh, K Y N G, kill your next girlfriend, Rash. Uh, Charlottesville, North Carolina, my man. He made the beat on that. Um, shout out to everybody that took that, uh, bro. We look, I got to the studio, I had no course, and I was like, here's what I'm seeing. So I called a couple of people. I called my sister, she brought my nephews. Uh, my homegirl Case and her man came over, bro, and we made that whole thing happen. I was like, here's what I'm seeing, guys. You can do it. We did the whole thing in like two hours, but. We're uh, we're finally gonna put a visual to the song this year, so it's gonna be dope. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. This is my boar bubble. Give me a second, cause one of my hunting dogs came in. He's a two hundred and forty-eight pound dog. He's the South African lion killing mastiff. It's a boar 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 bubble. I flew him in from 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 Cape Town. Here he is, guys. This is my dog. He's huge. This What's boy up, is dude? 200. Oh, yeah. 
Hell yeah. Look at him. Oh, look at him. He's a big baby, too. He's a oh. big baby. That's my boy. Yeah, breaking the house one time, I bet. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> well, look at be the there, and, be there, and you're not supposed to be there one look time. Look at these paws. Right. Look at these paws. <laughs> so fuck oh, around yeah. and find out, remember. Oh, right. he has smashed on coyotes so fucking hard, it looks like they've been hit w with a tank round. You have no idea. Bro, the dog weighs more than me, finally. I'm, I'm down right. to like 190. <laughs> Here, I'll give you one more finally. look. Look at him laying down. This is my dog. Hell He's yeah. huge. Dog's like, man, quit putting me on blast. I'm just trying to chill, dad. Uh, hey. dude, he's a big old boy. That's my, and I've got he's puppies really like, Fuck, coming. Dude, you think I have out of my puppies. Face, man. I've got puppies in a, in 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 August. We've got fucking puppies. You know my birthday's in August, right? Oh, Four bubble yeah. puppies are in August. Yeah, my, birth We've got my birthday's in November, puppies. so they'll be ready to go home right about at my birthday. We'll so have my birthday's in July. Puppies. I'm a cancer. I I'm a cancer. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a Libra. I'm God. I'm a Libra. I'm goddamn October 17th. One of the I'm a crab. crab. I'm a Leo. That's why I'm the crab. biggest littlest country crab. rapper in the world. Why I dominate the genre. Oh, little. <laughs> Odd job. So, you guys have all heard old music. I want Odd job. I want all you guys to hear this next song, but I really want Odd job to hear it because. Because like yeah, it is but fine, cool. and like this is this is the work you're looking forward to. Like, well, right. I mean, you heard the joint I sent you. Well, let's do it. Just say less and bang that my fucking joint out, dog. Just, Just say it. Say it. Comes less, out next baby. Saturday, all platforms. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You say less, Play motherfucker. This. Play this shit. Dun, 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 dun. It's absolutely fine, we do this all the time Get up and drop a rhyme, there's so many things on my mind And yeah, we're so fly, we ain't never coming down Get so high, we ain't even on the ground It's absolutely fine, we do this all the time Get up and drop a rhyme, there's so many things on my mind And yeah, we're so fly, we ain't never coming down Get so high, we ain't even on the ground Oh, 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 whoa, these cats don't know how you stay so hot and the world's so cold the Starters get a jacket, a hat, and then get some gloves Throw the weed up in the wrap at the fire and spark it up Give me the beat, something to eat You think I play this shit's a treat, so have a seat It's nice to meet you, I'm the man they call my beast So what you want, cause I'm not cheap and Pass some flies out with them pizzas For some rapping loops around these dudes like on a monopia And I'm focused on the mission mode, it's grind So I don't need to see a time or more than money Say it's not, then I don't need to feed you ha. Look at me, mama, wow Bet you'd be so proud of me now Now I came in with a dream and a heart that could take it No limits in sight that'll break it If I say that I'm fine, I'm lying inside This war going on and I pray that I make it These haters are making me famous You painting my name on the table Drove up in the tables are running outside of their mouth Again and they come at the fables I'm slamming the cards Fuck if you sleep it or not I'm running and kicking the cot My brain is shot Heart, all that I got But that murder the slot Smoking the pot, choking the shot Away she sheet that tootsie pop Snack sound boogie A little harder than that city lot Fine, we do this all the time Get up and drop a rhyme There's so many things on my mind and you we're so fly, we ain't never coming down Get so high, we ain't even on the ground It's absolutely fine, we do this all the time Get up and drop around, there's so many things on my mind And yeah, we're so fly, we ain't never coming down Get so high, we ain't even on the ground all the time, get up and drop a rhyme with so many things on my mind, and yeah, we're so fly, we ain't ever coming down, get so high, we ain't even on the ground, I, 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 I ain't playing motherfucker, come and get it, you must be tripping, can't be flipping, thinking I was finished, and I sip some polished minutes, yes I, for all my getting, turn your face into spaghetti, and pop your top off like a fatty rookie, you watch this pussy get stretched, beside the touch you get flexed, inside his hoodie, who's next to try and push me, ain't nobody about it, about it, I'm in your house,
house and routed. You fucking cowards doubt it. Thousand rounds went down the vra. Inside a space, but I catch a case of murder, home invade. I pop the A, that K will rain and cave your house in vain. Ain't talking shit, that clip will flip until your brains will hang. I call it Jason Machete, it's sweating, it ain't no fucking fuck. You know my name like Dr. Strange, I said it right the script. The difference is there's murder flick and you turn to hollow tips. Got pulls like porno flicks, my shit will kick, make torso shift. I order hits, I gotta pull the bitch, but I put the orders in. Oh shit, he's got the torch again with a mortal sin to break the porcelain with a quarter spin, the open top when he's pouring in. Yeah, bitch, you can fuck with me now, but that rat da 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 shutting it down, Trust bitch. Fine, we do this all the time. Get up and drop a rhyme with so many things on my mind. And yeah, we're so fine, we ain't never coming down. Get so high, we ain't even on the ground. It's absolutely fine, we do this all the time. Get up and drop a rhyme with so many things on my mind. And yeah, we're so fly, we ain't never coming down. Get so high, we ain't even on the ground. It's absolutely fine, we do this all the time. Get up and drop around, there's so many things on my mind And yeah, we're so fly, we ain't never coming down Get so high, we ain't even on the ground Fire Fire Fire, fire, fire Shout Bobby out to Bobby Bars Bobby does that, Bars. Bars, doesn't he? Yeah, Bobby, oh, yeah. Bob, look, Bob, my, my that brother answer, Bobby That answered my bro. question from that one day Like, you know mm. Yeah, you're like, does he have bars? I'm like, have you heard on Wounded? Does like, he have like, bars? bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got bars. He definitely has bars. Bob, Bob's got bars. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. That'd be it's funny how, how like. It's funny how like, when you hear some artists' names, right? Like artist names. It's like, like, Hot Boy G Killer sixty nine four twenty, and it's like, <laughs> what? It's like. <laughs> What it's the like fuck? Yeah. okay. It's like a gamer tag. That ain't an artist name. Yeah, it's like all right. I want to hear your music first of all, and then I want to get to know you and you know see your lifestyle. You better you know, be a hot like, boy. <laughs> like all right, bet. I love it when when an artist name like you know, is like okay, cool. Like it fits, you know. Like I don't know, Mike yeah. B. It fits first of all. It's my initials, but second of all, you know, it just fits. Right. The real is just inevitable, you know, like, but it's just had to go there. Oh, so, yeah. I feel like we lost somebody here. Yeah, I don't know. A bunch of bands. I don't know where he went. He froze for a minute and then he just disappeared. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, sing it. You can play another song if but you I want mean, to, shit. man. Shit, yeah, we got time to do one more and then. Fuck All right, it. Yeah, man. Our job's got to go do, go do fucking rapper things soon, but we fucking can rock right. that one more. What time's your show start, bro? Yeah. Oh, it don't start till nine, Same. but like everybody's finally fucking here. All my bubbas are hitting me up, fucking, you know. Yo, tell it. Yo, when you go out there, tell everybody. Yo, Mike B said, rub it on your chest and have fucking a good chest. show. Yeah, I will. Yeah, hey, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. Uh, Let me so tell we you got, what. We got you see all that fucking on my should play okay okay kind of is like the keystone anthem for me you know that's saying go ahead we're in the keystone stage this is the northern lights by the way hicker billy is fucking yeah, so you're still saving me some right i still got some yeah you already know what it is you know here don't fire with robot nsfw not for sale at all nsfw One time put it up for the money, two time put it up for the show, three, four put it up for the ones back home with the dream, don't wait, let's go. Five for the broke and the homeless, six for the bread and them chips, seven to the one to the seven, welcome to the Keystone, bitch. Eight for the ones in the struggle, nine for the ones in the pen, one day we'll all be free, and yes, you guess next number's ten. I go hard for the homeland, so what am I, man, sell propane? When I hop on the stage and I rock on the mic, at the end of the night, they're like, okay, I lie. Fucking trapped in the mind, but the reason I'm writing these rhymes, bring them to life. Let them see with they eyes and try to inspire to try. Get ready to ride. Get the clutch of the gear, the gas, and maybe we're gone. I'll stay on a grind. Passing them by, we'll casually pass the time. Da -da 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 -da. Yo, fuck with the mission, not tripping or bitching, I'm burning the gas. My focus is on creating the wave, so hop in the bag. I said what I said and I did what I said, so why is you mad? Not claiming the best, I stay in my lane, but got to the bag. Clearly I'm focused, so why would you come trying to disrupt the path? Since you're doing, I work, and you something I'm working to build up this lab. Climb
on these mountains, chasing these dreams to bring it all back. Enough with the nonsense, fuck what they said, just get to the bag. One time put it up for the money, two time put it up for the show. Three, four, put it up for the ones back home where the dream don't wait, let's go. Five for the broke and the homeless, six for the bread and them chips, seven to the one to the seven. Welcome to the Keystone, bitch. Eight for the ones in the struggle, nine for the ones in the pen. One day we'll all be free, and yes, you guess next number's ten. I go hard for the homeland, so what am I, man, so propane? When I hop on the stage and I rock on the mic at the end of the night, they're like, okay. Okay, 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 huh? You ain't heard by now, better hold on tight when you come through town. Keystone stayed on the rise right now, might be Rio, YC. Boys up on the showtime at the Black Rose. It's about time at the snack town. Got a flow, never back down. Better pass that. Pack a bowl with a rap bag. Got a game pack, got a roll. Give it a minute, let it slowly sink in. The gift from the gutter, enough for a mother. Nothing but shit on his image. Claim that he's weak, but a fear of strength. Never heard of him wasting his spinach. Welcome to town. This is my house. I'm a 17 up on the crown. One time put it up for the money. Two time put it up for the show. Three, four put it up for the ones back home where the dream don't wait. Let's go. Five for the broke and the homeless. Six for the bread and them chips. Seven to the ones to the seven. Welcome to the Keystone bitch. Eight for the ones in the struggle. Nine for the ones in the pen. One day we'll all be free. And yes, you guess next number's ten. I go hard for the homeland. So what am I, man? Sell propane. When I hop on the stage and I rock on the mic at the end of the night, they're like, okay. Fire. I have that one on the I'm on job and I've been bumping message. that shit. I've been bumping the fuck out That's of that song. Yo, yeah. do you guys like my metaphor shit, for marijuana? Like, so what if my man sells yeah, propane? propane? I heard that. It's gas. I heard that. Gas. That was fire as fuck. I heard that. I was, and that was it's a like a one, real man. pencil tucky, like blue collar job. Huh? I sell propane and propane accessories. Right. You know? He said pencil cool. tucky. I know a couple pencil of people tucky. that work for like Shipley Energy and shit, bro. They sell propane. Yeah. So I'm being real. And make a lot of money. Uh, yeah. I, I know guys that propane. make. I know people that make a lot more money selling the other propane, though. Yeah. Not around here. Oh, yeah. Allegedly. Don't come to Hanover and do dirt. Somebody's going to tell on you. Oh, uh, dude, I feel that. My town's got a lot of narcs spread. Allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, allegedly. Appreciate right. Appreciate you coming on, Mike B. Yes, Bro, it's been dope. Right. Thank you for having me. It's been an hour and a half, man. That's that's longer yeah. than I talk oh, yeah. to anybody that I'm not sleeping with. Hell yeah. Oh, Hell rough. yeah. I, it was a joke. I was just fucking with you guys. <laughs> that's okay, oh, though, because I'm in my odd job shirt. It was shirt. funny. It was oh, funny. Autograph it was funny. funny. Yeah, it's only the second time I've worn this special occasion. Hell oh, I'm just yeah. going up oh, and yeah. I'm going to frame this hey. and put it in the studio. Same thing with the Rich Regal shirt signed by everybody. Hell yeah. Damn, man. You got any last minute Look. shout outs for you, Puckus? Um, yeah, man. I want to shout out to, uh, to my wife, first and foremost. Like, for real, my bunny love. Because without her, like, for real, I wouldn't be here at all. In music, alive, none of that shit. So it's dope. Um, it's my rock, for real. Uh, my kids, yeah. my my assistant guy James here. He was in the asshole video. Asshole video, red shirt guy. Yeah, lead right. singer. You got got a look. Got, yeah. Yeah, got yeah. a lead singer. Yeah. Got got it. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, shout out to. I mean, there's a lot of people. Shout out to my camera. Uh, you know, my camera guy, uh, Justin Dirty J Production. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking out with me. You know, and shout out to everybody who's just mad and you know. Need someone to Shout blame. out to the haters, bro. Tell them my Shout name. Out listen, to the listen, haters. the best. Hell yeah. The best. Hey, you know the best. Get this hey, y'all don't listen, I got a song out. coming out. Perfect. Hey, I got a listen. song coming out. Hey, I have a song hey, coming out. It's called Haters. Shout out to haters. I'll shout the haters out now, but y'all don't want me to. Listen, listen. I, don't get me started, God damn it. I, I job. Country. You said the Country, wrong listen. Shit. Listen, bro, I got a, I got a song. I got a song. It's already registered and all that. It's called Haters. H-A-T-E-R-S. Having anger towards everyone reaching success. Haters. Shit. I gotta go, boys. Remember. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.
Look, man, when life for anybody out, gives you shit, right. haters, whatever, rub that shit on your chest. Keep going. Much love, y'all. Thank you, Brad. Yeah, that's the Billy Bullshit Podcast. Yeah, that's the Billy Bullshit Podcast. That's the Hicker Billy Bullshit Podcast.